Hey YouTube, ID Furkan here and today we are going to do another hypermiling video with the ID4. Currently it's charging to 100% and uh, after that we will start our trip. Uh, as you know, previous year we did also a hypermiling video where we reached 552 kilometers, but I didn't see that as hypermiling because I just um, went 85 km per hour behind the truck. I set the airco on, the mode was on comfort, didn't check my tire pressures, it was too low. Uh, but this time I will do it right. And we are around exactly one year later than the previous time, which was also the end of August. And today is the 2nd of September, the first free practice in the GP of Zandvoort, Formula One GP. And I'm driving in the Netherlands, I hope. Also, I will be live streaming right there. So, it's 96% and let's see how much percent we have. And we have 97. We are almost ready to go, so. There we are, charged to 100%. We have yeah. a gasometer range of 433. We go to mode, we set on echo, we go to climber, AC is off, it's only ventilation. I need ventilation in this car. And I close the sun visor. So uh, we are ready. I am ready. And I hope we can beat 550 kilometers from the previous year. But we need to acknowledge uh, that we can have some more battery degradation uh, comparing compared to last year. If we beat 550, great. But my own ID, the thing I can, I think I can reach is above 600. I hope that will happen with ease. Time to go. It's 9:21, and everything is reset let's reset it again okay since charge this will just uh, move in a minute so let's go and we are ready okay okay let's go well we are driving now for 30 minutes right there and we are have we are having a nice consumption now below 13 uh, 130 watt hour per kilometer around around that uh, because we are slipstream currently currently uh, the truck in front of us heading to Groningen currently uh, but I saw something interesting uh, because when I put my mode let's say mode to eco uh, I will use more than in comfort the reason is simple, uh, when uh, you are driving in comfort, the distance between your car and the car in front of you in travel assist will or ACC will be uh, closer. With an Eco, you take a bit more of a distance of the car in front of you. So uh, what happens is that uh, you are going away a bit back to the uh, a bit back with your car versus the car in front of you and you come into the wake of the slipstream and that's not great and that means you will use a bit more if i go back to comfort i will drive a bit closer uh, this truck is really blasting i will drive a bit closer and in this case i will use less consumption so that's great and that's what we are going to do. Well, we are hitting our first hour driving the ID4 behind trucks. Semi hyper mining, I would say. And we have driven 82 kilometers with an average consumption of 136 watt hour per kilometer. It's still above the 131 we drove last time, uh, but our temperature is currently 90.5. We started with 18.5, so it's getting better temperature wise and we are at 85 percent state of charge so if we look back at here with 82 we have around a 10 percent consumption of 
55 kilometers, something like that. So it's going well. It's going well. But we have another 85% to drive. Hey there, still on our way and we are heading to the two hour update. Uh, driven 160 kilometers with a state of charge of 70%. So we used um, around 53 kilometers per 10%. And as you can see, we don't have a truck in front of us, so it has some effect on the consumption. So, uh, see you next hour. Three hour update. Our average is 137 and we have driven 238 kilometers and our state of charge is 55%. This is our four. Our consumption is 131, which is the same as our previous hypermile video. Inside temperature of our outside temperature of 27 degrees and our inside temperature, holy moly, it is 30.6 degrees Celsius interior. Uh, we did 321 uh, 25 kilometers currently, and our state of charge is 39. We are almost there. And I have another two and a half hours, three hours uh, sweating here. But it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. This is our five. And our consumption is 127 watt-hour per kilometer, which is awesome, really. And after five hours we have driven uh, no, 400 kilometers and our state of charge is 27 and an outside temperature of 27.5 and my Odo says 178 so that says that we have around 575 kilometers of range it looks to be happening we are going to come close to 600. We will reach it, that's the question now. I don't think we will reach it, but 580, 90, that will be nice. So, and also the inside cabin temperature is 31. It's rush hour. And it's our sixth hour mark. And our consumption, current consumption is 124 watt hour per kilometer. We have driven 472 kilometers. Uh, temperature is 27.5. And our gasometer says 113 range left. 113 plus 472 is 580. I think we won't hit the 600 number, but this is the range to 0%. And as we know, we have a bit more under zero, but I will not drive that. And also, current cabin temperature is 32.6. Drink water. Really good. So, meanwhile, waiting for this rush hour to end and then uh, we can go home, I think, with 113 range left. I think I will arrive with 1 or 2%, which is fine by me. And uh, if we will reach it or not, we shall see. It's uh, 6 hours and 30 minutes currently on our way. And in... 30 minutes we didn't really move that far we are standing still pretty much so that's the hypermile video um, I have still 94 kilometers left and uh, I engage my 
lunch seat right here. So let's chill and wait. And of course I need to pee, but soon? No, not yet, so. So we are at seven hour mark and we have driven 503 kilometers with an average of 124 watt hour per kilometer. State of charge, 11%. Outside temperature, 28 Celsius. Gasometer gum says 70, so 503 plus 70 is 570. Oh, it just dropped, 73. So hopefully we are beating our previous record, but for now I don't think we are reaching 8 of our 600 anymore. And also cabin temperature 33.8 degrees Celsius. Grundeboog is mooi geworden. Mark 7.5 hours. Current consumption still 124 watt hour per kilometer. 540 on one charge. 26.5 degrees Celsius. 5% state of charge. A gun says 29 kilometers. A cabin temperature 32.6. And my destination is 33 kilometers. So. I'm not sure uh, if I will reach it at all. I have a four kilometer deficit. Shall I do it? YOLO? Let's do it. Here we are, the last percentage, 1%. Six kilometers left. Car scanner set says 0.7 on display and 6.4 on BMS. Um, and that's it exactly. We have another 9, 10 kilometers to our destination. And it's gonna be close. I will hit 0%, 100%. Funny, right? And then we will go beyond 0%. And if we look at our data, since charge, we have driven 561. Woohoo! And I have four kilometers range left. So we have officially 565 on the zero. And maybe even less, a bit less, because the state of charge is telling lots of stuff. So, yeah, and we have a plane right there. Nice, right? Perks of living at uh, Schiphol. So, this will be our last minutes. And we should go to zero pretty soon. Well, car scanner says I am at minus 19. This should go to zero soon. And this should be zero soon. Uh, my power limit is down, but no turtle mode yet. And another interesting fact is uh, if you have car scanner on or OBD and check the ha uh, high voltage battery content, uh, the zero value of that is when the car hits zero percent. And it doesn't check the um, emergency amount uh, power content. Look, it's currently zero. I have zero kilometers, still one percent. And that's still one percent. And let's check it out. We have driven 500. 65 kilometers, no charging left on one 
full charge. Uh, we have four kilometers to the charger, so we will drive under zero uh, to reach that. And beside this point, I can see how much energy I have left. Uh, the content is zero, the state of charge beam goes to minus, and uh, the state of charge BMS is visible, which says 5.6 currently. Uh, but this is not helpful, it's zero percent at zero kilometer, and I can't really use this at all too. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And now we will need to calculate. Well, nothing to calculate, it's just drive, you know? Till the car says something stupid, just drive. Because the car will say currently one report, no range remaining. I'm not sure, I'm driving. But no range remaining. So, two kilometers left and I will arrive at our charger which is okay. Um, state of charge display minus 0.63. And I think OBD is offline. The OBD port is offline. Oh, it's not. Okay, just really slow. Which is fine. State of charge BMS. <laughs> 4.8% state of charge display minus 1.08. Not bad. Still driving without any errors. No turtle mode. 26.5 degrees outside, 31.6 degrees inside. It's hot in here, but it's fine. Actually, it was. All right, sometimes I open the window and it went all right. So, meanwhile, let's stroll to the charger. So another one kilometer left. And the car is still going. The power limit is still at 75%. I'm still driving 570. It's fine, actually. But, really important, don't do this in winter temperatures, at winter, at freezing temperatures, because the car will go crazy. Because turtle mode will happen then. Uh, state of charge, 4.4%. Display minus 1.52%. And we are going down. One uh, big corner left and then we are arriving. And then we can calculate. And still zero at zero, so not that interesting. Hopefully we have a spot for the charging, very important. Otherwise, we will have a little issue here. So, ta-da! We are... Now, let's go back to the most rear one. Okay, almost the most rear one. And... Uh, let's go back. So, we arrived. We arrived, we completed a full battery charge. I know, I know, I arrived at a charging station. Don't worry, don't worry. So, numbers, very important numbers. Drive time, seven hour, 53 minutes. Consumption, 124 watt hour per kilometer. Distance, 571 kilometers on one full battery and average speed of 73 uh, state of charge zero state of charge car scanner bms 4.4 
and this place says minus 1.52. Uh, battery content says uh, zero and maximum battery says 7.6 7 7.3650 watt hour. So uh, This is it. This is the end and I'm gonna try one more thing I want to know calculate how much battery content I have so I'm taking my phone I am starting my uh, calculator I am Putting the distance 571 kilometers uh, times the consumption value, which is one, two, four, what hour per kilometer, you say calculate and it says I have used a total uh, value of 70,804 70, watt hour. And um, that's roughly 70.8 kilowatt hour battery capacity. So for now, I'm gonna plug the car in. So the car is charging with 125, great kilowatt and let's talk about why we reached only 571 kilometers which is 354 miles why didn't we hit reach 600 kilometers 372 miles uh, on a single charge i have some things let's talk let me say it one i have battery degradation six seven percent easily so that means i have less range on a single battery versus a new car so with a fresh car, I think I could have done it with the current drive. Second thing, I started too early. I started at 9.30 a.m. in the morning. It was still a bit cold, around 90 degrees. Uh, it started to get warm around 11. So we have driven 1.5 hours, one and a half, two hours before the weather got warm. And who warmed the weather, how? Uh, better the consumption is so how farther you can go on a single battery and as last the last two hours we were stuck in traffic and in heavy heavy stop and go uh, traffic so yeah that means you lose lots of consumption instead of rolling out you need to stop and accelerate which need to move 2000 kilogram from standstill and that cost also energy we don't want that so these three things are the reason why I couldn't do it 600 kilometers today. If I do it tomorrow, it's better dependent, of course. I think I could reach it if I started a bit later, if I didn't have traffic. About the battery degradation, that'll also be it. Uh, I think then I would get around 620, 30 kilometers on the single range on the same route. So, it's time to go. So, that was the hypermile video of the ID4. Second time uh, for the second year, and yeah, I'm learning again more and more. And doing 570 on a single charge is awesome, but in my opening opinion, just drive fast and charge. You know, you are losing lots and lots of time to drive slowly while you can charge fast. So, with that said, thanks for watching. And then I'll see you again in my next video. Later.